<laughs> anyway, let me uh, move on from that topic and let's play Ballyhoo, Infocom Interactive Fiction. As you trudge along in the wake of the outflowing crowd, you thumb through your memories of this evening. Your experience of the circus with its ballyhooed promises of wonderment and its ultimate disappointment has been to sink your teeth into a candy apple whose fruit is rotten. Never mind the outrageous prices, the Mount Everest vantage point, the communistically long lines, the audience more savage than the Lion Act, and it wasn't the shabbiness of the performances themselves that got you soured on Spangle Land. No, instead it's that the circus is a reminder of your own secret or rational desire to steal the spotlight, to defy death, and to bask in the thunder of applause. In the wings, the big top can be entered to the north and exited to the south. To the northeast, the grandstand begins its precipitous rise. All right, well, I guess we'll go south. Oh, actually, I want to see my inventory. You have 1281 to your name. Oh, okay, well, that's something. You emerge into the warm night, you emerge into the warm night air of summer. Connection. This area of matted down crabgrass lies between the vaulted big top entrance to the north and the enticements of the midway to the east, where a sagging banner hangs crookedly above a turnstile. There is a drinking fountain near the side wall of the tent. You can enter the night to the west and south. The last of the crowd just now trickles eastward through the turnstile. A midget decked out in Russian general's uniform is standing before the drinking fountain. Don't they mean little person? All right, now I am following. I am following a walkthrough. So bear with me if I do things that seem weird. So let's wait. Time passes. The little general gets up on his tiptoes in front of the drinking fountain. Wait. Time passes. Attempting to do a pull-up, Comrade Thumb manages to sprawl himself onto the drinking fountain. Okay. Let's help him out. Help Thumb. Once elevated, Comrade Thumb slurps his fill of water. He then plops down, gives you a quick salute, and waddles off into the darkness. Is that going to pay off later or something? I mean... West. Beside the big top. You're standing next to the big top, which is gently flapping in the warm breeze. A cheap plastic clown mask, having been carelessly dropped here, is lying face up on the ground. About waist high, a barred passage for wild animals extends several yards out from the big top. Let's take that mask. Taken. Examine mask. You see nothing special about the clown mask. Okay. South. Backyard. You're standing in front of the turnstile entrance to a fenced-in area which is south. To the west stands a droopy tent, and the field continues north and east. A tall and lanky clown in baggy pants trudges out of the tent and toward the turnstile. Comrade Thumb follows behind. Adjacent to the turnstile to your south is a vertical cage. See, I mean, here's the thing. The walkthrough wants me to wait here a lot. Like, who is going to sit here and just wait a whole bunch of turns? But I'm going to do what this walkthrough says, because maybe it'll unlock something. Maybe there's a reason for it. All right, so seven turns. So wait is one. The tall clown, whom you now recognize as Chuckles, barks a hello into the cage. You hear an electronic buzzer from the turnstile, and Chuckles passes through. Two. Comrade Thumb performs an impromptu handstand. Three. Comrade Thumb belts out a few verses of a Russian folk song in his high-pitched, squeaky voice while standing on his head. Four. The midget performer does several cartwheels in a figure-eight pattern around the grass field. Five. In front of you, Comrade Thumb terminates his acrobatics on one knee with a grand gesture of his small arms. Six. Comrade Thumb is pausing to rest. Uh, my game just crashed. Let me see if I can get it back. Alright. 
I think it's back. Let me double check something. Let me test something. Inventory. Comrade Thumb in his squeaky and high-pitched voice says, Hello, Harry, toward the burned cage. You hear a buzzing sound from the turnstile as the midget reaches up to its lowest rung and passes through. What the hell does burned cage mean? All right. Okay, let's see. All right, west. Inside prop tent. <coughs> this dimly lit, this dimly lighted tent houses a ragtag collection of outrageous props and wacky devices, including a midget automobile that's garaged in here. Lying here in a heap is a gorilla suit. President William Howard Taft is here. You can hear muffled voices coming from outside and see two ominous shadows cast against the side wall of the tent. Uh-oh, shit's starting to happen. Examine Taft. The imposing figure of President Taft stands quite still. Take Taft. Taft wobbles slightly, revealing himself to be nothing but a cardboard character, a mere prop. You can hear muffled voices coming from outside, getting louder and nearer. You feel the childish embarrassment of being trapped. Huh. Hide behind Taft. You crouch behind the cardboard character. From behind the figure of President Taft, you hear footsteps enter the tent. A pause, then hushed conversation. Listen to conversation. So, Munrab, what is it? Why have you called me here? Listen, Detective, I've had a terrible day in your lousy little town, so let me be brief. Receipts have been down this month. Tonight's concession stand sales were especially small. The towners were tight-fisted, and they nearly leveled my grandstand. And on top of that, someone's kidnapped my daughter, Chelsea. That's where you come in. Here's the most recent picture of her. A pretty good likeness, in my opinion. Mr. Munrab, why are we whispering? Let's do it again. Listen to conversation. I don't know, because it's a mystery, I guess. Anyhow, it's not because I suspect any of my own people here on the lot. There's a pause. I've been pretty loyal. I've, uh, I've got a pretty loyal crew here. Sure, I work the guys a fair amount, but hey, no one joins the circus expecting a holiday. Lacking all passion and professionalism, the detective replies. I'll suspect who you want me to suspect. You're paying the bill. Here, see, the language of this ransom note clearly shows that it's not an inside job, Detective. I don't know what kind of crazies are running loose in this town, but I'm afraid harm might come to my daughter if the police were to show up. God knows this circus doesn't need that kind of publicity anyway, so I'm relying on you and you alone. I'd better hold on to that note, Munrab. All right, then get going. You can hear Mr. Munrab and the detective hustle out of the tent. You stand up. Ooh, let's save. All right. East. Sorry, I hit my headset. Backyard adjacent to the turnstile to your south is a vertical cage. Verbose. Maximum verbosity. Backyard, you're standing in front of the turnstile entrance to a fenced-in area, which is south. To the west stands a droopy tent, and the field continues north and east. Adjacent to the turnstile to your south is a vertical cage. Um, east again. Near White Wagon. You are standing on a gentle upslope of the grassy field, next to a rather imposing trailer whose door is closed to the east. In dark panorama, the field continues north and west and south where a large banner has been erected. Part of a narrow pole is sticking out from under the wagon. Huh. Take pole. Taken. Examine it. You see nothing interesting about the fiberglass pole. Well, now I know it's fiberglass, so there's that. Okay. North. 
connection. This area of matted down crabgrass lies between the vaulted big top entrance to the north and the enticements of the midway to the east, where a sagging banner hangs crookedly above a turnstile. This is where the drinking fountain was. Uh, you can enter the night to the west and south. Uh, you're going to have to hang on a second. My cat wants out of my room. <coughs> Go on. Good girl. Oh, thank you for your patience. All right. Give me a second. Okay. We're going north again. In the wings. We've been here. The big top could be entered to the north and exited to the south. To the northeast, the grandstand has been retracted slightly, revealing a passage. See, that's new. A roustabout who is wearing a pair of headphones and carrying a large net over his shoulder passes you and exits the big top. Is that the thief from Zork or something? Did he steal from me? No. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go north again. Performance ring. This is the arena's oval-shaped performance ring, which appears deathly quiet without its circus atmosphere. Also missing is its safety net. A rope ladder dangles to within a foot of the ground. Just west lies the entrance to a large round cage that completely encircles the second of the two rings. To the south, of to the, south the big top's vaulted wing leads out into the open air. The arena's rickety grandstands rise steeply north and east. Okay. See? I mean, the walkthrough wants me to drop the mask. And I'm trying to think of, like... If I'm not, if I didn't have the walkthrough, what would possess me into doing that here in this position, this particular room? But I'm gonna do it, whatever. I will go, I will stray from from the walkthrough here and there, but uh, I like getting through the game, and you know that way you can actually see the story of the game uh, as it's kind of meant to be played. In a, I guess. All right, so drop the mask. Go up to the platform and then east six times across the high wire. Up. You grasp the ladder firmly and climb up. Platform. You're standing on a small, unstable platform, which is suspended high above the arena floor by guy wires converging on it from all directions. A rope ladder dangles from the platform, and the tightrope stretches east to the opposite platform. I guess we're going to save... And head east. You are standing poised high above the arena floor, a couple of baby steps across the tightrope. Ooh. You take a couple of tentative steps across the wire. You are standing poised high above the arena floor, just part of the way across the tightrope. You take a couple of tentative steps across the wire, reaching the halfway point. You are standing poised high above the arena floor, about midway across the tightrope. You take a couple of tentative steps across the wire. You are standing poised high above the arena floor, most of the way across the tightrope. East again. You take a couple of tentative steps across the wire. You are standing poised high above the arena floor, nearly all of the way across the tightrope. This probably is the last one. East. Ta-da! Those familiar notes from tonight's show reverberate through your body in triumph. Platform. You are standing on a small, unstable platform which is suspended high above the arena floor by guy wires converging on it from all directions. The tightrope stretches west to the opposite platform. Floating against the ceiling of the big top is a helium balloon. Take balloon. You grab the helium-filled balloon at the frill where it is tied. The balloon gives a constant upward tug at your fingertips. Examine balloon. It is a bright red balloon which is tied closed and filled with helium. Okay. All right, back across the tightrope. One. Two. 
three, heading west is what we're doing. Four, just past midway. Nearly all the way back across. Back onto the first platform. You are standing on a small and stable platform. All right, heading down this ladder. Trying to grip the ladder, you fumble all, you fumble away the fiberglass pole and it falls to the ground below. Oh my. Down. You grasp the ladder firmly and climb down. This is the performance ring. All right. I'm going to read this again because I don't remember how this reading is sounding like this. This is the arena's oval-shaped performance ring, which appears deathly quiet without its circus atmosphere. Also missing is its safety net. A rope ladder dangles to within a foot of the ground. Just west lies the entrance to a large round cage that completely encircles the second of the two rings. To the south, the big top's vaulted wing leads up leads out into the open air. The arena's rickety grandstands rise steeply north and east. You can see a fiberglass pole on a clown mask here. All right. Take everything. Oh, I guess we weren't going to be able to hold on to the clown mask to, to get the... Uh, balloon or something so but we're taking it back now so the pole and the mask are taken back let's see <coughs> south in the wings in the big top command to the north and exit to the south south connection this is the place with the drinking fountain West beside the big top. This is uh, standing next to the big top. About waist high, a barred passage for wild animals extends several yards out from the big top. I don't think that comes into play at all, though, by the looks of it. Let's see. South. Backyard, you're standing in front of the turnstile entrance to a fenced in area which is south. To the west stands a droopy tent, and the field continues north and east. Adjacent to the turnstile to your south is a vertical cage. All right. <coughs> Backyard. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Look in cage. You can see the silhouette of a man sitting quietly in semi-darkness. Ooh. Untie balloon. You untie the end of the balloon, holding it closed. Inhale helium. The balloon shrinks rapidly before your eyes as your chest expands and tightens. Then it slips from your grasp with helium spitting out of it. The fink zips wildly through the air and disappears. You manage to momentarily hold the helium in your lungs. Okay. Harry, hello. The sound of your high-pitched, lighter-than-air voice is startling to yourself, but very familiar to the guard. You can hear an electromechanical buzzing sound from the turnstile. Ha ha. South. You pass through the creaky turnstile. Our score is 20. Hey. Camp East. You're in the east end of the performer's camp. It is unevenly lighted by a number of glaring spotlights which ring the camp, creating a stage-like patchwork of light and dark. At the eastern end of the camp sits one lone trailer. Um. West. 
camp west you're in the west end of the performers camp it is unevenly lighted by a number of glaring spotlights which ring the camp creating a stage like patchwork of light and dark at the northern border of the camp there is a pleated canvas wall on either side of which runs the fence that was meant to keep you out to the south you see the long so side of a dilapidated trailer which sits off kilter all right give me a second All right, we're going to put on the clown mask. We've got to pretend we're a performer here since we're in the performer's pavilion, I guess. Wear mask. You put on the clown mask. Knock on door. Chuckles pops his head out from behind the trailer door and squints at you through a layer of cold cream, then flings the door open. He withdraws into the trailer. Aha! I've played this game before and I never knew how to get into that part. south you step up into the trailer clown alley the gut of the trailer exposes the underside of circus life grungy costumes strewn about crooked and cracked mirrors the musty odor of fresh makeup mingled with clown sweat infusing the air against the wall is a row of cramped looking bunks and running from the floor to one upper bunk is a small ladder you can see an ashtray sitting on the lower bunk chuckles the clown is leaning in front of a mirror removing his makeup Sitting on an upper bunk with his arms folded and legs swinging his comrade thumb. All right, let's be polite and close the door. Okay, the trailer door is now closed. Chuckle speaks. Sorry about the door, Malcolm, but Johnny Tin Plates out there nosing around. Johnny Tin Plates out there nosing around. Sounds like a slang for cop. <laughs> so they, they mentioned an ashtray. And here we go. Search ashes. Like who would think of that? I mean, I guess somebody would. In disturbing the heap of black ash, a scrap of newsprint is revealed. I mean, really? Take scrap. Take it. Let's just hope he doesn't find the grift. Okay. Read scrap. There's a paragraph of yak trivia on one side and the letter M in 48 point type on the other. Yak trivia. <coughs> Give me a second. All right, just for fun, we're going to get into one of the bunks. Get in the lower bunk. You hit your head against the upper bunk as you attempt this. Get in upper bunk. You hit your head against the ceiling as you attempt this. And you really have to stop trying to sleep around like this. He. Wait. Time passes. It'll be okay unless somebody tips him off about shoving Annie Oakley under the old front by the elephant tent. His voice suddenly halts. Chuckles whirls around, strips you, strips you of your disguise, and you're suddenly eye to eye with a very unhappy clown whose grease paint, red horseshoe smile practically melts off his face. Chuckles seizes you by the scruff of your neck, and the irate clown hustles you out of the trailer. Camp West. You're in the west end of the performer's camp. It is unevenly lighted by a number of glaring spotlights which ring the camp, creating a stage like patchwork of light and dark. At the northern border of the camp, there's a pleated canvas wall on either side of which runs the fence that was meant to keep you out. To the south, you see a long side of a dilapidated trailer which sits off kilter. That's where we just came out of. All right. Alright, we're going to go under the wall. You make your way through the pleats, and just inside the tent you notice a small piece of wood on the ground. Inside prop tent, this dimly lit 
This dimly lighted tent houses a ragtag collection of outrageous props and wacky devices, including a midget automobile that's garaged in here. To the shadowy south is where you pass through the police of the canvas wall. Lying here in a heap is a gorilla suit. President William Howard Taft is here. Alright, well then we're just going to head east into the backyard. Uh, you're standing in front of the turnstile entrance to a fenced in area which is south. To the west stands a droopy tent and the field continues north and east. Adjacent to the turnstile to your south is a vertical cage. From inside his cage, Harry calls out, You're still around kicking sawdust, huh? Let me give you a tip. Be careful, there's no telling what or who could be lurking around the lot at here at night. Ooh, food for thought. North, beside the big top, flapping in the warm breeze, barred passage for wild animals, east, connection with the drinking fountain, North, the wings is where we started. North, east to that new passage. Under the bleachers, you're standing between the underside of the grandstand and the side wall of the big top. Not unexpectedly, the ground here is strewn with garbage. The only exit is southwest. Well, what the hell am I s brought me here for? Oh, should have known. Search the garbage. Your foray into garbage reclamation pays off as you turn up the unmarked ticket of some luckless circus goer. Uh huh. Examine ticket. Replica of your ticket is included in the Ballyhoo package. Okay. And this is where, if you don't have a walkthrough, you are screwed because you don't know what to do here. Um, you either punch a blue dot that's on the ticket to play as a man or pink dot to play as a woman. So let's just punch the blue dot. Hang on. Punch blue dot. You're not holding the ticket. Hold ticket. Oh, I never took it. It should have been assumed that I took it, but whatever. Punch blue dot. You perforate the blue dot. Okay, and that's going to help me l later on from what I understand. I'll uh, go southwest and south. So southwest to the big top and the wings. South to connection where the drinking fountain is. And here we go. There's a slot. Put ticket in slot. You feed your ticket into the slot and hear all kinds of internal computations being made. Then the ticket rolls out into your hand. All right, let's see. East. You pass through the creaky turnstile. Midway entrance. To the west is the turnstile exit from the midway, which continues east. The side of the big top borders on the north. A soiled sagging banner beckons south. Next to the big top, the detective is talking to a pitchman who's carrying an open trunk that's strapped to his upper body. All right. South, Menagerie. This scrawny patch of dirt offers a square cage on its west side, an open tent giving off a dank, earthy smell on the east side, and a well-worn path along the tent to the southeast. A soiled singing banner beckons north. The slow-moving sound of massive chains from inside the tent is heard. Southeast. Menagerie Nook. You are standing outside of the elephant tent. Along its side wall to the north sits a cage with straw poking out of it. The menagerie is northwest of here. Facing you on the east side, there is a big, there is a big old plywood sideshow front, faded beyond recognition. It serves as the barrier wall of an enclosed structure behind the elephant tent. Um, all right, let me... Save the game here.
All right, and uh, I, th <coughs> I think that'll be it for this first episode, and I will see you next episode. Thanks for joining in. Goodbye.